this is Greg Sprunk with uh, Superior Cleaning Equipment, Wash Rack Design, and uh, we're out here today at a, uh, a transfer station for a large national ref worldwide actually refuse hauler. Uh, where we put in a uh, wash rack that's got um, wash and rinse. We're using a bio system. This is one of the toughest wash racks to treat. Uh, you get a lot of organics, a lot of different things in the water here, and so what we did is we came. Uh, came up with a large trench, des trench design, about a two foot by two foot deep. Got a hot water wand on the one side, cold water wand on the other. This, this uh, system's been in place about six months, and um, we don't like to come out here right when they're brand new. We kind of want to show you what we're doing now. Um, so it's been used pretty heavy, uh, mostly trash trucks, outsides, uh, some insides, hopefully not too many. Or what the architect decided to do was they've got a block kind of a block wall structure here to mount stuff too and then they use slat wall chain link with slat wall in between it on the roof and everything else with removable panels on the outside so that way it's easy to service and get to we'll walk around here in a minute to the back and the equipment and take you a tour on uh, I'll take you on a tour of the equipment room here uh, just real quick quickly there's a little berm here as you can see in front of this trench drain that's because we want to divert a lot of the water out to the end or the middle of the trench drain before it gets into here and carries over into a uh, to a fiberglass sump and we'll go inside and show you that. Inside the equipment room here we've got a large uh, water maze fiberglass three by three by four and a half catch basin and what this unit does is uh, it comes off the trench drain into here and then the water flows into this uh, catch basin. It's encased in concrete so it's double containment and then because we've got so many different uh, Kind of particles, uh, organics, you know, just miscellaneous stuff. We put a uh, indexing paper filter on the system. You can see that that's uh, uh, catching a lot of debris. Uh, the excess dirty paper rolls off the front as this as this fills up, um, and keeps that from going into our biological system. Um, right here is kind of the heart and soul of the system. You've seen this in some of the other videos that we've done. For golf and turf, but we use the same uh, the same unit here. It's called a CLB603. This one's outfitted with uh, automatic pH controller, and um, so it's got also it's got your sump pump, your transfer pump, ozone pump for your final tank, aeration pump. You got your uh, purge uh, system, hour meter, uh, voltage lights, and then you got your right here. You've got your microbe and nutrient pumps, and then you've got your pH pump to feed an alum keep your pH down. And all of this is, there's a 600 gallon tank in here, along with the, uh, uh, with all the pumps on the bottom there, uh, on the back of the system. So it's a complete system right here for recycling. And then what we did after that, in order to get some good dwell time on a bio system like this with oils and uh, uh, organics and stuff, was we put in 2,000 gallon cone bottom tanks. And these tanks both have, um, what's called VBT 300 air sticks. These air sticks uh, put out a lot of aeration and millions of micro bubbles into both of these tanks 24-7. Uh, so we're injecting microbes in this first tank and then they're traveling and gravity feeding to this tank over to the next tank. And then as we come down here, we've got a finished water tank in here. And this finished water tank's got a line from the CLB 603 and that is uh, constantly being ozonated. Um, from the main system. So this this is what's feeding the pressure washer here. Over here in the back side, we've got a uh, an SEHW six gallon a minute at 3,500 psi unit. It's got the Landcom wireless remote control option on it. Um, this can this operator can take this and run out, turn the unit off, or turn the unit off or on. And, um, and then we've also, that's for recycled water, and then we also have uh, a freshwater rinse here with our SEA uh, 3 to 1000. These are both belt drive units, both have land of pumps in them, um, all stainless steel frame and housing in this unit here for the rinse. And then of course this has got your big skid unit uh, here, 15 horsepower motor, adjustable thermostat, hour meter, really for a diesel stationary unit, kind of the Cadillac of of diesel stationary units that are out there. So basically that's what happens. The water runs through your uh, sump pit, uh, goes into your indexing paint polishing filter. Uh, we use 20 microns, sometimes 5 micron paper in there, up through your CLB. In this particular case, two 
very, very large uh, aeration tanks to your finished water tank, which then feeds your recycled water back out under the wash pad where we first started. So we thought you'd just like to see that. Um, I'm proud of it. You guys did a great job. If you look back on behind some of this stuff, when we do installations, we use all Unistrut. We use all Schedule 80 PVC. Uh, we make sure that we keep the piping off the floor. It's all uniform and tight. And um, our project managers do an outstanding job of that. Well, we've got about probably two to three thousand dollars just in materials here, but uh, it's going to hold up very well and last for hopefully decades. So once again, thanks for watching the video, and uh, thanks for being our customer, and look forward to another um, great installation the next time we see it.